Chaos theme decks have a new toy, and that is Fateful Handoff. For three and a black, we have a sorcery that says, Draw cards equal to the mana value of target artifact or creature you control. An opponent gains control of that permanent. So what cards should we be giving our opponents? Let's consider Coveted Jewel. It costs six, so if we hand this off to our opponent, we're drawing six cards. But also, when this entered the battlefield, we're drawing three cards. This is also a mana rock we can tap for three mana of any one color. When we give this to an opponent, if we were to attack them and they had no blocks we gain control of this again we're drawing another three cards and we have an additional three mana of any one color this is probably the most ideal card to be going for next we're talking about immortal coil we give this to opponent we draw four cards and if damage would be dealt to them we prevent that damage and instead they are exiling cards from the graveyard for each one damage prevented if they do not have any cards in their graveyard they will lose the game instead or spine of ishthaw seven mana for this one so we draw seven cards when we hand this off to an opponent. It is also a great removal for destroying any permanent when it enters the battlefield, and if this is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, we return it to its owner's hand, which gives the opponent nothing to do with this. This is a useless artifact. If we want to make more artifacts so we can start targeting enchantments or even planeswalkers, we have cards like Liquid Metal Coating and Liquid Metal Torque. These turn our non-land permanent or permanents that aren't an artifact into artifacts in addition to their other types. And then we cast Faithful Handoff. We give them whatever has just now become an artifact with these two. Moving on to creatures, let's talk about Abyssal Persecutor. It's a 6-6, Flying Trample. You can't win the game and your opponents can't lose the game. Giving this to an opponent is a very silly thing to do. So if we're at zero life, we're not losing the game. And if they have a win con, they're not winning either. Bronze Bombshell. We give this to an opponent. We draw four cards. And whenever this becomes controlled by an opponent and not its original owner, that player has to sacrifice it. And when they do, they take seven damage. So we draw four. They take seven. Really silly stuff here. Speaking of silly, let's draw 16 cards with Draco. This is a 9-9 flyer. There are ways to reduce the cost and whatever, but drawing 16 cards with Fateful Handoff and this, silly combination. How about Grid Monitor and Steel Golem? You can't play creature spells, so we'll draw three or four cards with these, and now our opponent's can't cast their creatures. How about play Griever? At the beginning of your end step, sacrifice each other creature you control. So they have no other creatures now. They're stuck with this terrible creature, and we get to draw three cards with Fateful Handoff. How about Rust Elemental? At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice an artifact other than Rust Elemental. If you can't, you have to tap it, and you lose four life. But you get a 4-4 flyer, and it's tapped. That's so exciting. Or how about Scornful Egotist? For eight mana, or eight cards from Fateful Handoff, our opponents get a 1-1. That is super sweet of us, and they should be very appreciative of this gift that we're handing them. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want any of these cards, they'll all be in the link down in the description below. Thank you to the members who help support this show, and you can also become a member for 99 cents each month. I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, peace.